In this video, we're going to be differentiating cos theta and sine theta from first principles. So we're going to do two questions. First one with cos theta and the second one with sine theta. So first question, given that theta is measured in radians, prove from first principles that cos theta differentiated is minus sine theta. And we can assume the formula for cos a plus or minus b and we can assume that as h approaches zero sine h over h goes to one and cos h minus one all over h is going to go to zero so we're differentiating cos theta so y equals cos theta if we imagine we've got y equals cos theta, we're going to write down our coordinates first. So if theta equals theta, so if theta equals theta, what's y? Well, y equals cos theta. And then we're going to move a tiny bit along from theta. So we're going to change theta to theta plus a tiny amount. And we're going to call that tiny amount h. So if theta now is theta plus h, what's y? Well, it's cos theta plus h. So we've got two coordinates, one slightly away from the other one. And we're going to be working out the differential. So we're going to be working out the gradient. using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we're going to say that d cos theta, d theta, is y2 minus y1 cos theta plus h minus cos theta over x2 minus x1 theta plus h minus theta so we can simplify the bottom line theta plus h minus theta is just h so we'll change that to cos theta plus h minus cos theta over h now we're going to use the cos a plus b so cos a plus b i write a note on the side. So cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. So cos theta plus H is cos theta cos H minus sine theta sine H. And we've still got the minus cos theta, and it's still all over h. Now we're going to split up our cos theta terms and our sine theta term. So for the cos theta terms, we've got cos theta cos h, and we've got minus cos theta. And that's over h. And our sine theta term is sine theta sine h. Also over h. So we've split up the cos thetas and the sine thetas. And now we're going to factorize them out. So we're going to factorize out the cos thetas from the first bit. And factorize out the sine theta from the second bit. So if I take cos theta out of the first bit, what's left? I've got cos h minus 1 over h. So I've taken cos theta out. And I'm going to take sine theta out of the second bit, which leaves sine h over h. And that's sine theta factorized out. 
and now we're going to use the limits so we've been told about them in the question as h approaches zero sine h over h is going to go to one and cos h minus one all over h is going to go to zero so as h approaches zero Uh, d cos theta, d theta is going to be, so cos h minus 1 all over h, that's going to 0. So they told us in the question, that's going to 0. So we've got 0 cos, h, cos thetas. Sine h over h is going to go to 1. So we've got 1 or minus 1 sine theta. So we've got no cos thetas, which is 0, minus 1 sine theta, which is just minus sine theta. OK, now we're going to look at doing the same thing, but with differentiating sine theta. So we're going to differentiate sine theta this time by following the same method. So if y equals sine theta this time and theta equals theta. So when theta equals theta, what's y? y is sine theta. And then if we add a small amount to theta, so we'd have theta plus h. So if we substitute theta plus h in for theta, y becomes sine theta plus h. So we're going to find our derivative doing y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So x1, y1, x2, y2. So the derivative of sine theta with respect to theta is going to be y2 minus y1 so sine theta plus h minus sine theta over x2 minus x1 which is theta plus h minus theta so let's simplify the bottom line first so sine theta plus h minus sine theta over just h. Theta minus theta is zero. And now we're going to use our sine a plus b formula. So sine a plus b this time, which is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. So we're going to change sine theta plus h into sine theta cos h plus cos theta sine h. And we've still got the minus sine theta and it is all over the h. So let's split off our sine thetas from our cos thetas. So if we get the sine theta terms together, we've got sine theta cos h minus sine theta over h plus cos theta sine h also over h. And then we're going to factorise out sine theta from the first bit. So we've got cos h minus 1 over h sine theta. So we take sine theta out of the first bit. And we'll take cos theta out of the second bit. So we've got sine h over h cos theta. Now we're going to use our limit. So as h approaches 0, 
as h approaches zero, d sine theta d theta. equals so cos h minus 1 over h is going to go to 0 so we've got 0 sine thetas sine h over h is going to go to 1 so we've got 1 cos theta so we've got 0 sine thetas plus 1 cos theta 0 times sine theta is 0 1 times cos theta is cos theta.